Hello, this is a video for future Rich and possibly current you who is having issues with sorting out uh, colliders and triggers and all these good things in 2D spaces. There are many, many better YouTube videos talking about this, but I just wanted to make one specific for my particular issues. So what I'm trying to achieve and what I've spent my morning sorting out is very simply the fact that when this bot when this circle enters one of these lines a trigger occurs so if i clear this to show you it gradually building up there we go okay so first uh, and kind of most obviously please do check your axes even if you're in a 2d space make sure that you don't have your triggers being on a different plane of existence um, which can actually catch things out if we look uh he says failing in every way to show what i was trying to show no 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 no. sorry i'm not scaling there we go fabulous sorry if you look on position see how those objects haven't moved um but um they no longer interact you can kind of see because we're dealing with 2d objects you know that's what it actually looks like from the front but because the z-axis is out you won't be able to interact with them at all uh that's actually what i meant to show at the beginning Okay, cool. So number one thing, your hero object, which will typically be moving and which is a thing that you will be attaching your script to, to check whether or not a collision has occurred. Um, it needs to have a box collider. Um, it can optionally have is trigger. Um, I'm actually going to set it to not being trigger because the, the object itself shouldn't be the trigger. The triggers should be. So it just needs a box collider. It doesn't need anything else. It doesn't need a rigid body specifically. The triggers themselves must have a rigid body. Make sure you've set your gravity scale to zero. We already know what happens if we set the gravity scale to one. Is this. Whee! Goodbye, triggers. So we set them to zero to make sure they don't move. Because go gravity. And then we also set box collider on these. And this is where we set the box, box collider is trigger to being true. Because they're triggers. So we end up with... The object which is moving just needs a box collider. The things which are static or that are the triggers themselves need to have rigid bodies, but they need to be triggers. And this is the whole deal. Um, and then very, very finally, and the part which actually caught me out right at the very end, is the fact that if we look at our script, you need to have on trigger enter TD. I'll, I'll, can I zoom in this? How am I failing to zoom in? needs to have on trigger enter 2D. It cannot have on collision enter 2D because it's not a collision entering, it's a trigger. I currently do not understand Unity well enough to know when you would use um, on collision. I'm assuming it's when you actually do have two objects colliding. Um, but for us, because we are caring about triggers, um, that is the actually important part. So in summary, Check your axes are correct, especially on the z-axis, even if you're in a 2D space. Make sure that your one of the objects has got a box collider. The other objects have a box collider and a rigid body. Make sure at least one has got trigger enabled. Um, it is trigger enabled. Um, it could actually be both or just one or the other, but um, just make sure at least one of them does. And then finally, make sure that you're definitely using on trigger rather than on collision because that caught me up. Anyway, I hope this helps future me and I hope this may or may not help current you. So thank you ever so much and take care.